And I do think, Mike, one of one of well, a disappointment for me this weekend is the fact that Republican leadership is not going down there. And I've been looking at the camera more today than I have in a lot of shows. Hey, Republican leadership. Come on, guys. Get your ass down there. Put somebody on the plane and send them to Selma. It's not hard. Get down. This is not hard. Don't golf. Don't raise money. Get somebody in the Republican leadership down to, Sel to Selma to celebrate an extraordinary moment in American history. Mike Barnacle. Well, I, I doubt that's going to happen, Joe. Because what needs to happen? They're going to continue with their. They're, they are so obsessed with Barack Obama that they will. They won't be there. They just won't be there. But anyway, uh, Reverend Al, I'd like to ask you this about black communities, not just in Selma, not just in Ferguson, but around the country. What, what steps can we continue to make, bolder steps obviously needed here, to do something about the isolation of so many blacks in communities big and small around this country? Isolation in terms of the geography of cities where they live, isolation in terms of the access to employment and education in the places where they grow up. I think that we've got to have one standard in terms of equal protection under the law and equal opportunity. And we cannot do that without enforcement of laws and in, in many ways also prodding a lot of community residents to take advantages of them and push forward. So I think it's both and. But I think that the Ferguson report shows us there is systemic unfairness that has to be confronted but at the same time we must take advantage of those doors that are open and push forward and I think that we're seeing a, a, a continued isolation that both sides need to not accept and in fact find ways to aggressively come together but I think that when we start mislabeling activists or those that are conservative, then we don't have the kind of coming together that will solve the problem. Ferguson should have taught us those activists were right. Those of us that went in were right to raise the question. Now let's come to the answer. All right.